Our lesson for today is finding the area of composite figures formed by any two or more of the following. Triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. Again, I am Darwin A. Ignacio, your presenter. Not all figures around us are as simple as triangles, squares, rectangles, and circles. Some have irregular shapes such as donut, an L-shaped swimming pool, or a U-shaped floor plan. Now, let's see the conversation of the siblings. I want to put wallpaper. I only need to buy the exact number of wallpaper. But how? The wall has an irregular shape because of the window. Compute first the area of the wall. A roll of wallpaper covers 5 square meter. Just get the total area of the wall minus the area of the window. Hmm, Matt Wizards, can you help Daniel to find out the exact size of wallpaper he needs to buy for his room? The shaded region in the figure below shows the total area that Daniel needs to cover with wallpaper. The total area of the wall has 6.7 meters length and 3.4 meters wide. The total area of the window has 2.6 meters length and 1.3 meters wide. To calculate the area of shaded region, subtract the area of the window from the area of the wall. Area of the shaded region is equal to area of the wall minus area of the window. So we have 6.7 meters times 3.4 meters as the area of the wall minus 2.6 meters times 1.3 meters as the area of the window. We got 22.78 square meters for the area of the wall subtracted to the area of the window which is 3.38 square meters. When we subtract the area of the wall and the area of the window, we will get 19.4 square meters. Therefore, Daniel needs to use 19.4 square meters of wallpaper to cover the wall. Just like what it was stated earlier, some objects have irregular shapes. These are called composite figures. A composite figure is a two-dimensional figure that is made up of two or more basic figures, such as triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and many more. Now, let us find the area of each region. Assume that all angles that appear to be right angle. So we have here a triangle with a height of 6 cm 
and a square with the sides of 7 cm. We can separate the figures into two, triangle and square. Now, let us find the area of each. Let us find the area of a triangle. So as you can see on the figure, we have 6 cm as its height and 7 cm as its base. To find the area of a triangle, we are going to use the formula area is equal to 1 half times base times height. Area is equal to 1 half times 7 times 6. So area is equal to 1 half multiplied by the product of 7 and 6, which is 42. So we got 21 square centimeter. The area of a square. It was stated a while ago that the side of the square is equal to 7 cm. So to find the area of a square, we are going to use the formula area is equal to side times side. Area is equal to 7 times 7. So we got 49 as our product. So the area for, of the square is 49 centimeter square. So we add the area of the triangle and the area of the square to get the area of the composite figure. So area is equal to the area triangle plus the area of the square. So we will add 21 square centimeter as the area of the triangle and 49 square centimeter as the area of the square. So 21 plus 49 is equal to 70 centimeter. So 70 square centimeter is the area of the composite figure. Another example, solve for the area of the shaded region. So we have here two rectangle. So the first rectangle has the length of four feet and the width of three feet. The second triangle has 10 feet length and 6 feet wide. We can identify two rectangles from the figure 3 feet by 4 feet or the smaller rectangle and 10 feet by 6 feet the larger rectangle where the smaller one overlap. Let us get the area of the smaller rectangle. So the area formula on finding the area of a rectangle is area is equal to length times width. So area is equal to 4 feet times 3 feet. So 4 times 3 is 12. So we get 12 feet or 12 square feet as the area of the smaller rectangle. How about the area of larger rectangle? So let us again use the area formula on finding the area of the rectangle, which is length times width. 
So area is equal to 10 feet times 6 feet. So 10 times 6 is 60. So the area of the larger rectangle is 60 square feet. To get the area of the shaded region, subtract the area of the smaller rectangle from the area of the larger rectangle. So the area is equal to the area of the larger rectangle minus area of the smaller rectangle. So area is equal to 60 square feet minus 12 square feet so we got 48 square feet so 48 square feet is the area of composite figure now let us find the area of the shaded region use pi which is equal to 3.14. So we have here a triangle and a circle. So the area of a triangle is 14 meters by 12 meters. And the radius of the circle is 4 meters. We can identify two figures here, a circle and a triangle. So the circle, circle overlapped with the triangle. Now let's get the area of a triangle. So as you can see on the figure, the area triangle is 14 meters by 12 meters. So let's use our area formula, 1 half times base times height. So we have 1 half times 14 meters as the length of the triangle and 12 meters as the height of the triangle. So we have 1 half times 168. So let us divide 168 by 2. So we got 84 square meters. Now let us find the area of a circle. Again, we, are, we have here the figure of a circle which has 4 meters radius so the area is equal to pi times r to the second power so the area is equal to 3.14 as the value of our pi multiplied by 4 to the second power so area is equal to 3.14 times 4 times 4. So now we are going to multiply 3.14 times 4 times 4. It is equal to 16. So 3.14 times 16 is equal to 50.24 square meters. To get the area of the shaded region, subtract the area of the circle from the area of the triangle. So area is equal to the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle. Area is equal to 84 square meters minus 50.24 square meters. So we got 33.76 square meters. So 33.76 square meters is the area of our 
composite figure. So let us find the composite area of the figure below. So we have here what? We can identify three figures here. We have a semicircle, a rectangle, and a triangle. Since the given is a diameter, divide the diameter into two to make it a radius. And also, the given is a semicircle. Add one half to the formula in getting the area of the circle. Now, let's get the area of a, of a semicircle. The area formula on finding the area of a circle is pi r square. But since we are going to get the semicircle, we are going to use the formula area is equal to 1 half times radius times r squared. So area is equal to 1 half times 3.14 as our pi, multiplied by 11 to the second power. So, area is equal to 1 half times 3.14 times 11 times 11. So, when we multiply the pi or the 3.14 to the product of 11 times 11, we got 379.94. Now, we are going to divide it by 2. So, the answer is 189.97 centimeter square. So, now let's get the area of a rectangle. So, we are going to use area is equal to length times width as our formula. So area is equal to 14 centimeter times 22 centimeter. So we got 308 centimeter square. Now let us find the area of a triangle. So the formula is area is equal to one half times base times height. So you're going to use area is equal to one half times 16 as our base and multiplied it by 22, which is the height of the triangle. Now 16 times 22 is 352 centimeters squared. Now we will get the half of it. So one half divided by or one half times three hundred fifty two centimeters square is one hundred seventy six square centimeter. So to get the area of the composite figure, add all the areas of the figures above. So, we are going to get the area of the semicircle added to the area of the rectangle and finally added to the area of the triangle. So, area is equal to 189.97 square centimeter plus 308 centimeter square plus 176 centimeter square. So to add it up, we are we have three six hundred seventy three point ninety seven square centimeter. So six hundred seventy three point ninety seven square centimeter is the area of our composite figure.
Now let us find the area of the shaded region. So as you can see, we can identify three figures here. So we have rectangle, circle, and a square. So the first thing we need to do is find the area of a rectangle. So we are going to use again the area formula in finding the area of the rectangle by multiplying the length by its width. Okay, area is equal to 42 centimeter multiplied by 21 centimeter. So when we multiply 42 by 21, we get 882 square centimeter. So now let us try to find the area of a square. So area is equal to side times side. Okay, so the side of this square has 15 centimeter and we will multiply it by itself. So 15 centimeter times 15 centimeter is equal to 225 square centimeter. And the last, we're going to find the area of a circle. Can you give me the area formula on how to find a circle? Very good. It is area is equal to pi times r to the second power. So area is equal to 3.14 multiplied by 7 to the second power. So when we multiply 7 times 7, we get 49. So 3.14 times 49 is 153.86 square centimeter. So to get the area of the composite figure, add all the areas of the figures above. So we are going to add the area of the square and the area of a circle, then subtract it to the area of a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is 882 centimeters squared. And the added value of the area of a square and the area of a circle is what 225 centimeters square plus 153.86 centimeters square is okay 378.86 centimeters. So when we subtract it uh, from 882, we got 503.14 square centimeter which is our area of composite figure so always remember this key ideas area is the number of square units needed to cover the surface of plane figure Remem let us also remember this formula for plane, for a rectangle, we are going to use length times width. For a square, it is side times side or side to the second power. So for triangle, we have one half times space times height. And for a circle, we have pi times r to the second power. So remember, the value of pi is 3.14. Okay, also remember that a composite figure is a two-dimensional figure that is made up of two or more basic figures, such as triangle, square, rectangle, circle, etc. 
So to find the area of composite figure, simply determine the area of each basic figure that makes up the given composite figure. You can sometimes separate it into figures with areas you know how to find.